We're going to go into Borodino. I don't know what to expect, guys. I know a little bit about the Battle of Waterloo. That's about it. Um, and Leipzig, maybe a tiny bit. That's really it. So let's jump into Borodino. And I must say, the voice actor um, that Matrix chose for this game, I'm a little sad they didn't choose me, but I have to say he's awesome. So I totally understand why they went with him. Let's see. Uh, and he's basically narrating the diary of a soldier in Napoleon's army. Chapter 8, Battle of Borodino, the 7th of September, 1812. The Russians retreated and we were victorious. The weapons and food stores in Smolensk were of great use to us. After the battle, I received a commendation for my bravery. I also lost many good friends, including my mentor, Heinrich. War can bring both pleasure and pain. The road to Moscow lies before us. We have arrived at Borodino. We will finally defeat the Russians and force them to bow down before us. We will be home by Christmas. Or so he thinks. So we're getting started, guys, on the Battle of Borodino. Of course, the battle before the march home. Um, and uh, many of you know that that march through Russia back to France was uh, absolutely deadly. So I want to get a look here at the battlefield first of all. Wow. Very standard battlefield, really. Um, we're going to be able to advance pretty well. Looks like we've got eight promotions to give out, and you know I love giving promotions to my artillery. So I want to give them plus two damage on a hill. Of course, we have to get them up a hill. So right now, I'll just give them plus two damage. I'm going to give them a second upgrade. This would basically give them the best shell shot, or the best, uh, yeah, the best uh, canister shot available. So I'm going to do it, because I expect the enemy to get a bit close here. And over here near Borodino, I absolutely want to promote our men. Let's see if we can increase range damage. Wonderful. We boost them a little bit more. No, I think we'll wait. Plus one damage when attacking infantry. Why did I select that? I thought it was an infantry unit. It's okay, it's not the end of the world, but still. I, I didn't really want to do that. Um... Plus one view range here, and we have two promotions left to give. Hello, Better Juice. I saw you just recently joined the channel. Welcome aboard, man. Um, Scooby's asking, have I ever seen my pronunciation guide? I have. I'm so sorry I didn't pre uh, respond to that, man. Um, I, I always try to respond to every comment on the channel, and I thought that was really cool. I want to go ahead and uh, like take a look at it and really read over it. A lot of times when I get your responses, I'm like in bed and uh, looking at my phone and I'm about to go to sleep because I don't sleep a lot at all. And um, and I'm like, oh, this is a good chance to respond, but I'm just too tired. Uh, but yeah, I definitely saw it. I thought it was really cool, man. All right, let's increase this guy's... Hmm, no, I'm going to increase his view range. Here we go, guys. The battle is commencing. So this is a pure capture mission. We have a lot of locations we need to take. I obviously want to go for Borodino first. And starting a fire with our artillery is an absolute possibility here. So we shall move forward with the glorious 111th Line Infantry. And I will fire. Oh, reactionary fire. Yeah, I knew that was going to be rough. And let's return fire. It looks like that would work better than a charge right now. But it looks like we're breaking down the enemy at Borodino very quickly. The first Jaegers. We could shoot at this distance, but I'd like to get a little bit closer. This, of course, puts us in front of our cannon, though, which might not be the, the smartest decision. They are really close to uh, re retreating, my friends, so at this point, I think it's just a matter of time. I'm going to move the 108th line into their space here, and I'd like to move the rest of the cavalry up. That's going to take some time, so for now... Let's see if we can't assault one of these units. And I'm trying to see who would be the best to assault. And I'm thinking it's going to be this guy. The reason being, after we fire, or actually, actually after we assault, we can fire with our cannons. But if the cavalry's in the way, we won't be able to do that. So maybe these guys up on the hill. That's not looking good, is it? No, I don't even think I'm going to go for it. I mean, maybe if not just to get them in a square formation. Little strategic trick we're playing here. Can I commit the old guards? That's a great question. Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen old guards so far. 
It doesn't mean they, they don't exist, but uh, I just haven't seen it. So it looks like, no, unfortunately, this artillery is way out of range of the enemy. We might let the enemy approach us on this flank because there are a lot of opportunities for us to get some very devastating shots. But they're all up here defending, so this might suggest that we need to move forward if we want to attack. Yeah, I guess we have to. Reactionary fire for sure. No, maybe not. All right, let's charge. We're going to take a lot of losses as well, but not nearly as many as the enemy, according to the stats. And this is the 48th line. Perhaps some of these units that we see, like the 48th line, etc., are the old guards. We just don't know the divisions or the division names. Uh, let's go for Utica. Oh, that was a nasty defense. We will open fire. It looks like our men are pretty good at delivering uh, firepower. But as you guys know, or, or many of you know that have played the game... Uh, the enemy that's in a town will actually slowly regenerate, and that's a big problem. Experience has taught me it's actually better to take out the units nearest him first. So we're sending over the 17th line on a charge, a grand Napoleonic charge. We'll get these poor troops out of the swamps here. You know, they think swamps are the worst thing they have to worry about now, and admittedly, the Russian swamps are pretty, uh, pretty nasty, but once they deal with the winter that's upcoming, I think the swamps will seem like, uh, almost like a vacation. We'll also move our Grand General Napoleon forward as well. I'm gonna put him with the artillery. Ending the turn, my friends. Now, let me know if you guys prefer the fast-forwarding or if you guys prefer uh, us doing this. I like to fast-forward uh, because, quite frankly, I want to play. I, I, <laughs> but it's all good seeing the AI and all that, but I want to start playing. As you can see, though, they've got a lot of really beautiful uh, cavalry here that they're bringing. These have to be Cossack cavalry. I'd be very surprised if they weren't. And I want to see how they respond to our men. Over here, these guys on the hill are doing extremely well. And one of the problems is Seminskoye, um, Borodino, all of these places are uphill. And we have to cross this field to get to them through a bunch of swamps, which obstruct our view. So it's a big problem. These are not the kind of swamps you can walk through either. Uh, we're talking about, like, massive marshes that you'd have to get a canoe or something to traverse. Yeah, isn't that cool that uh, Ariman is from Kansas? Uh, you you know, you'd think, like, uh, and no offense to Ariman, that when you think Kansas, you think, like, simple folk. But I think Ariman is probably one of the smartest folk here on the stream. Um, and when I learned he was from Kansas, I was like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure you're not from, like, Kansas, uh, uh, British Columbia or something? <laughs> All right, let's see. So once again, we can charge, and I will charge with Ditsa. But our guys are badly wounded. Once they get too badly wounded, I'll pull them back and actually put them in one of our city locations. But during this battle, I don't believe we have any city locations. So we need to take those. Yeah, as you can see, our charge is not working against these guys. And that's a big problem. Stopping the rest of our men uh, from being able to do their job. So we can fire at Borodino. Of course, we always are trying to start a fire here. There we go. Aha! Borodino has the tricolor over it, my friends. Now, we could destroy this unit, or we could provide some fire to this one. Usually, I would destroy a retreating unit, but in this case, I think I'm going to open fire. I don't like that guy being on a hill. Ah, oh, what do you like about Zoroastrianism? That's not a bad idea. Try to concentrate on just one point. Yeah, and I think that point right now is going to be this hill division. I want to take them out. The charges aren't going to do much to them. We might even move the cavalry back temporarily. We'll bring them back. But right now, it's better to move in the infantry to deal with the enemy. So here we go. The 127th line. Not, not as effective as I expected. Let's see if we can fire. So all these obstacles in the way, they're a real pain. 
Uh, I am going to charge, despite the fact that we will probably end up retreating from this charge. Because it's going to give our cannon a chance to shoot. And these guys are going to end up retreating anyway. So there we go. Get out of here. We'll bring up replacements. You've done your duty, men. Well, they really walked up there, like, very daintily. They're just like, we won the battle. We will take our time. It's a very March moment. Here we go, guys. Oh, this charge is going to break them. The 12th line on a massive assault to Semenskoye. And I believe we've taken them. Yes, we have. Great move. And our men are doing the same thing now. Now, I, I would advance if we weren't surrounded by the enemy. So we're not going to advance because that would be not, not too smart. And apparently, we can actually move into the swamp area. Um, generally, I wouldn't do this because, technically speaking, we're actually going to take more damage than the enemy does with this shot. But... They're in Utica, and we need to lower the amount of men in there by any means necessary. So we will take the loss. Alright, looks like our boys did their job as best they could. Try to get our cavalry to move up. Okay, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Suddenly we have people yelling for Chaos Eternal and people yelling for the Emperor. This certainly leads me to believe that you guys would not be opposed to me doing in the future uh, maybe a Dawn of War stream. Dawn of War 1. I would even do Dawn of War 2. A lot of people don't like Dawn of War 2. But if we have enough 40k fans here, I'd be willing to play either. Um, and especially something I'd love to set up with you guys. We haven't done any user games. And I really want to get a user game going. Um, a lot of the times, the reason people can't do user games is due to the fact that their PC can't handle the games we play. Um, I think if we played Warhammer Dawn of War, the original, we could get like an 8 vs. 8 game going. Or is it 4 vs. 4? I don't remember. Um, and we could have a bunch of like channel users join. I would love to have like 7 of you guys, right? We would all take whatever faction we wanted, and we'd face the Necrons. Sort of like a battle of the apocalypse. And I would absolutely upload it uh, to the YouTube channel, as well as to the Twitch channel. I think it would just be really, really fun. Um, so let me know if that appeals to any of you guys, because if it does, we can get something going. Personally, I would be taking Tau. Yes, I am a big fan of the Tau. And I actually think I will move into the swamp here. It's not a good place to be, but we're getting closer to Atitsa. And I want it. Ooh, it's a very bad place to be. <laughs> it's actually sapped almost all of our strength. Charging through a swamp land can't be very effective. But I think we can still maybe? Maybe? Let's see if our cavalry can do anything. Oh, yes. Look at this massive charge, guys. The 11th Hussars against the 20th Jaegers. And getting them to square formation is essential because now uh, it's very easy to shoot them. It's very easy to do damage to them. Open fire. Utita will have to wait a bit. This unit is nearly finished. Yeah, please do, Arimon. Please, man. Ah, very cool. You're living in Turkey. Beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful. I've been to uh, Istanbul, um, but that's it. I have, I've never actually crossed uh, to the other part of Turkey, but I have been to Istanbul, and I thought it was beautiful. I was very young, but I still remember it. Right, let's get rid of these guys. This is right now the biggest threat on the battlefield is this annoying enemy unit on top of the hill. I will do anything to get rid of them. Except sell my soul. I try... I, I've been reading a lot of creepy pastas lately, so I make, I make sure to add that in there. Um, okay, here we go. Borodino. Yeah, we will move forward here. We could actually get a pretty good shot on the enemy there, but I think I'm going to destroy their infantry unit. We've totally destroyed some of these units. Remember, the Russians are numerous, but as Ariman mentioned before, a really fascinating fact um, is that actually the uh, French outnumbered the Russians during this battle and during every single battle they had with the Russians. So don't think that just because we're playing against a massive country that uh, they outnumber us, because they don't. They really don't. But before I fire with those guys, I want to see if these guys can fire. Nope. So we will cross. 
And I'm gonna also move my cannon up. Just to hope they don't try to take back Bordadino this easily, because it would actually be pretty easy for them to take it back. What obstacle? We can't shoot anything from this position, so let's move forward and let's bring the Cav. Maybe we can attack their cavalry unit. Cav versus Cav, and we are attacking, yes, against the Lifeguard Jaegers. Well, their lives are not going to be worth much after this assault. As you can see, they're pretty good damage. I'd love to get a shot too, but I don't think we, we're going to be able to do that. So far, our army's holding up very well, guys. All right, we shall end the turn. A lot of morale gain and reinforcements on the enemy side, though. Oh, I can see why, Scooby, because of the SJW. Is that why? I can understand that. By the way, for those of you guys watching this video on YouTube, you're missing a lot of great conversation that's going on in our Twitch stream, uh, which is where I'm actually uploading this from. So make sure to add, our, add yourselves to the Twitch um, as well, or else you're not going to really know what's going on. Yeah, they're hitting this guy badly near Semiminskoye. And he didn't even see this artillery. I mean, I'm, I was sure that the Russians would have some form of artillery, but this is a bit surprising. I mean, we took Borodino quite quickly, so I, I would say that that's a good move on our part. Now, the problem here is our uh, cavalry cannot attack a town setting. Or town setting. Can't attack a town. Um, so we're going to have to use our infantry to try and break in here in the north. And if I'm not mistaken, this is not even one of our main objectives. Um, although, every single place we take will add... Uh, believe it or not, some points. So let's move forward. We are going to take reactionary fire from the enemy. And hopefully we can flank the lifeguards. Ooh! Not those kind of lifeguards. Not like Baywatch. Alright, we're still outdoing them in terms of damage, and I want to charge across the swamp here. But let's see. Oh yes, we can get a shot on Utica. We can also get a really good shot on their uh, cavalry. And I'm kind of thinking we could break through with Dita anyway this turn. So I'm going to open fire on the cavalry. This maybe was not the best choice, but we'll soon find out. Oh, come on, boys. You're, you're almost there. You are almost there. Charge. So far, our 11th Hussars are outdoing all of the um, Russian cavalry. The Kiev Dragoons just got wasted, and yeah, we can definitely open fire there and break them, or we can fire at this unit that's in a square formation and would be heavily damaged by our attack. I can't help myself. We have to fire at this unit, even if it means waiting another turn to take Utica. Come on. No, not nearly enough damage. And unfortunately, with these guys, there's nothing we can do. Ah, we can go to Valuyevo. So remember, guys, I mentioned before, in this game, um, if you're in a city, you can regenerate your units. It's another reason why it's so important for us to hit their city so that they don't regenerate their units. Um, I think the 127th line can still fire. So I shall move forth, although it's very, very deadly because we are surrounded by three different units. But the opportunity here is too great to break an enemy. Excellent shooting, boys. I knew I could trust you. I'm hoping this will allow us to fire there, but I'm not 100% sure. And in the meantime, we shall move uh, Napoleon forward. All right, boys. Better Juice is saying is, fun fact at Borodino, uh, the Utisa flank at the middle of the battle, Russia throws a counterattack, and General Bagration, the commander of the flank, is killed. Wow. 
I know where Operation Bagration came from. We're in square formation. We should be able to deal with this cav pretty well. Yeah, Arman, that's how I felt. Um, when I first saw the game, I was very unimpressed with the, vi with the visuals. Um, I also believe, I, I could be mistaken, that this game, it's currently just on PC, but I wouldn't be surprised if eventually it is developed for a mobile system. Again, I'm, this is just a guess. And we just received some reinforcing troops. That's actually the first time I received full reinforcement during a game. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, it's very fun. It's just a really fun game. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of this cav. One more shot should waste them. It's gonna take one more hit to waste them completely. Uh, I wonder if our, our already can hit them from here. Unfortunately not, but we can fire on this northern uh, town, and that's good. And setting it on fire would be even better, because that way the enemy can't even um, generate troops. And as you can see, it's on fire. That is a perfect opportunity for us to move forward, but it does mean leaving Borodino open for one turn. I think it's worth it, though. Open fire, boys! It's annoying that the cavalry can't even move through cities. They should be able to at least move through cities. We know where this guy's going, but first, let's see if we can't help him out a bit. Although I'd rather hit with Ditsa. Sorry, sorry cavalry. There we go, destroyed. Hey, maybe not so sorry cavalry. Can probably provide some pretty good support here. So close to breaking this unit. I might even charge through their square. That's how weak they are at the moment. Yep, yeah, we're going for it. No, 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 no. It take more than one to to make them run. So we're gonna eventually. We're, this unit's gonna have to run, but at least we'll have heavily damaged the Kiev dragoons. Problem is, they have a lot of men in the Kiev dragoons regiment, so that unit will retreat. And let's get these guys into our only town here, Valurievo. And we can actually get these guys into Borodino over time. But right now, we want to regenerate those guys at Valurievo, and that will occur. Again, this charge could cost us. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to send the cab into the swamp, get away from the enemy, move forward with this unit, which is fairly fresh. Oh, of course, we're going to take reactionary fire. Ouch. Uh, but let's see how many men we have around here. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to attack some in Skoye, but I think I will help all our men out and hit the... His Majesty's Cuirassiers. Wow, so this is the Tsar's own Cuirassiers. This is not going to be an easy unit to kill by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, we've done what we can. Let's end that turn. Wait a minute. We can still bring the Emperor. Support your man, Emperor. I love seeing Novoya on fire, though. And obviously, every location we take, even if it's not one of the mission objectives, is going to bring us some victory points, which I believe at the end is what really matters in terms of uh, deciding who wins the battle. Yeah, they'll break us here. Destroyed. They fought bravely, though. It's the first time the Russians actually broke through our uh, cavalry. Oh, that was surprising. I mean, I have to admit, uh, the enemy dragoons are intimidating. They do a lot of damage to our infantry. 
Um, it seems like our, our cavalry can, for the most part, stand up to them, but our infantry cannot. We're going to get rid of this infantry unit for sure. Either this turn or next. Better Juice is saying if we destroy the Zara Zone, that that would be a massive morale debuff on the enemy. That would make sense. Um, so, yeah, I think we would target the Zara Zone. It looks like a much, much harder unit to break, though. And it looks like they're leaving Semimedian Skoya open. Hmm, maybe we can go for it. All we have to take now is Maslovo, which is back here. We're so close to breaking that unit. In fact, we should have done this before. We can fire on it and break them this turn. I'm not sure if we can still move in with our infantry. I hope so. No. See, once you move away from them, you can't move in anymore. But at least we got that unit to retreat. And from Borodino, we can open fire and do dramatic damage. I'm not sure why, considering we have far fewer men. But really good shooting there. And let's see if we can break the... Oh, no. Can't break it yet. Let's see if we have any uh, other units here. These guys are still recuperating. And you can already see that they had a, they have a lot of new units. And I actually think they're ready to move up and fight. I wouldn't have thought that if I didn't realize that they can, couldn't get to that uh, particular area this turn. But it is what it is. So in this particular case, I'm going to charge. And I'm not going to attack the Cav. Just because the charge is giving us much better bonuses. Here we go. And sure enough, look at that. An enemy retreat. Gotta love that. And of course, we will proceed across with an advance. And now we can bring these folks to shoot at the cav. Beautiful. Two retreats, guys. This is how Napoleon fights. Um, I hate to get up close and personal with enemy artillery units, but considering this unit is fresh and we need to attack them eventually, I'm going to move forward. Okay, we're firing at His Majesty's uh, Corossier with some massive artillery. Boom! That hurt. And I might charge this unit just to get them into square formation. Let's do it. Merci beaucoup. Oh, you get shot for more damage. Even though these guys are badly wounded, I'm going to go for the charge. It's just looking really good for us. And when they're in that square formation, it's very easy to chop them up with our bayonets. One more hit and those guys are leaving. That's all we need. Okay, these units will head to Vuluyevo. How do you guys think it's looking? Let's get a wager going. We have to get the roulette system set up on this channel. Because we could actually do roulette on uh, whether or not you guys think I can survive this. Um, these guys are so close to breaking, I'm going to have to fire at them. Can't shoot. That's unfortunate. I'm at least going to try to stop them from getting on our flanks. So I'll move this guy here. And just hope for the best. All right, ending the turn. Wow, a huge morale boost on the enemy side. It looks like they did the reasonable thing and actually moved their cavalry back there. Okay, here we go. I think we're going to break this unit. They attacked our square. One more hit and that cavalry is running. That's for sure. Thank God for the square formation. Okay, that unit, both of them were fresh, but they just did a number on our men. So we're going to take a look and see exactly what unit we're facing there. Man, they are firing heavily into Utica, and they actually 
had a fire break out in Utica. The amount of damage here by the enemy is incredible. Now that the artillery is uh, making itself known. Wow. All we have to do, though, is take Maslovo. It seems so easy. Okay, we can actually fire at this uh, calf. It's all we can fire at. And that being the case, I might fire at it with this unit as well. Get out of here. Yeah! Okay, some retreating enemy cavalry. I always like to see that. Cascade retreat! Did we just force two retreats? Nice. Um, and, of course, I'll move forward from Bordodino. Why wouldn't I get myself into an even more dangerous situation? Uh, let's get these guys into Vulievo. And we'll do the same with these guys in time. In time... I think we can kill this unit. We might as well do it. And get rid of His Majesty's Carassiers. There we go. We have killed His Majesty's Carassiers. They are down for the count. And uh, as, as mentioned before, that's a big deal. Very big deal. Good shooting, boys. I will advance only because we desperately need to get the rest of our men forward. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Otherwise, I think it would be a terrible idea. In fact, it still might be a terrible idea. And I can't go back into Utica because if we do, we're going to burn. So I'm sort of at a... Well, I guess we have to go back into Utica. Sorry, guys. At least we can destroy the enemy unit here. Although we will likely be destroyed next turn ourselves. And we can advance. Nice. So that actually worked out quite well for us. And I'll advance here too, actually. Probably won't end well. Okay, what to do here? This is looking great. It's looking great. It really is. Um... I think we can break these guys with a nice volley. So that's what we're going for. Of course, that artillery is going to do a number on us. And look at that, a cascade retreat, guys. This is unbelievable. Okay, I'm getting past them. This is definitely not what I expected. Uh, I will have to move into uh, the Loya, even though the town is burning. And let's destroy this unit for good. Yeah, we are going to start advancing. I mean, at this point, we're burning up. We might as well. And if we can take that area, I believe we win the battle. Okay, we've done all we can. Now, all we have to do is turn it over to the enemy. Take a look here at the chat. Hello, 14 viewers. Good to see you guys, man. Hey, Anacephaly. Karasi is pronounced Quiroshir. Really? Quiroshir. I would have never guessed. Quiroshir. Hmm. I've always thought Karasi. By the way, if you guys are uh, new to the Twitch channel, not only make sure to sub, but uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel down below here uh, with the Civil War picture. Really appreciate that. Ah, and be, better juice is saying in Turkish is Agir Suvari. Yeah, Curaçao is the way we say it in Portuguese, as Bonvelu says. I think that's that's the reason I pronounce it Curaçao. I was trying to do sort of French pronunciation. Um, but yeah, the, there's I guess there's a lot of different pronunciations, but that's that's very likely the original one. Okay, let's end. More reinforcements. The Russians have no uh, lack of reinforcements. That's for sure. We might outnumber them, but they're certainly getting pretty close to matching us in numbers. And I think on this particular battle in this game, they do outnumber us, at least from what I'm seeing on the field. In the real battle, that wasn't the case.
Although, keep in mind, with these kind of battles, you also have to keep in mind, like, reinforcing armies, armies that arrive hours after the battle begins, things like that. Uh, that probably, you know, changes the numbers around quite a bit. Oh, things don't bode well for this unit. But the, the Emperor is watching them. Good work. They wouldn't dare retreat. Okay, a little morale boost. Some of these units got like a plus five morale boost, so the units under uh, Napoleon get a massive morale boost. And you can even see here with our opening shot, our opening volley, that we are shooting like a unit that has 18 men in it, but we, we don't, clearly. Hmm. Oh, yes. Excellent work, and of course we will move the cavalry over here. We want to get them closer and closer to that final city we want to take. And as much as I'd love to attack uh, Kinaxobo with the, uh, you know, the artillery here, I think I'm going to open fire on this unit in an attempt to utterly break them. Well, this could work out all right, but I think this will work out better. Charge it. Yes! I thought so, guys. Uh, and, of course, we'll move these guys, hopefully get out of the way of any enemy units trying to hurt us. We'll move these units into Borodino so they can start getting some reinforcements. And it looks like, looks like these guys are doing okay, but they could spend another turn here. Why not? And we'll have these boys take Semimin Shkoya and hopefully uh, start increasing the numbers. Yeah, I'm actually going to send these guys into Semimin Shkoya. Unless I can get a really good volley shot here. Yeah, I might have to... Sorry, guys. I might have to wait on uh, Sammy Minshkoya for a bit. Nice. Enemy destroyed. Hmm. This guy's not doing any damage. Open fire. And the Kiev Dragoons taking a nasty hit there. Of course, right now, what we really need to do is get the artillery forward, even if it means moving it through a swamp. Hmm. It's looking pretty rough for us either way, so I will order my men to open fire. But they'll probably regenerate that unit next turn if we do score a hit. And we didn't score a hit. So that's not good. Okay, ending the turn. As you can see, the VPs are slightly in favor of us, but just very slightly. And that could change in, in a moment's notice. Enemy cavalry is playing hardball. Oh, yeah, they got a unit to retreat. I see how it is. Thank you so much, Dane. Very nice of you. Yeah, no, I guess I, I guess with the name like that, um, that they were probably uh, the Guardians of the Tsar. So, yeah, that's a, that's a huge um, loss for the enemy. And look, even from the swamps, we can fire. But interestingly enough, I like how they took this into account. Since we're fighting the art firing the artillery uh, to the uh, swamps, and look at this, we even have the plus three damage to adjacent enemy bonus. The damage we're doing is is minimal, uh, because obviously, firing a gun in the swamps, it's not easy uh, to do damage. So there we go. I'd love to take them out, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity this turn. We're also very close to losing Utica, which is an essential part of our campaign. So I will continue firing here to break any units near it. And we may eventually need to send more reinforcements, like right now, to take out any threat near Utica. Oh, yeah. Boom! Thank you, Chasseurs! And there we go. Enemy is breaking. 
I love those Cascade Retreats. We'll get behind the enemy. We still haven't taken Semimin Shkoye, but I think we're on the path to do that eventually. Okay, these guys are ready to fight. I don't care if they still need two more troops. That's not enough reason not to get on the battlefield and do your duty. Fire, boys! If all you can shoot at is an artillery unit, you damn well better. That's Agrippa's uh, tip for the week. I'm also going to fire at this unit because they got into a square formation, uh, which means that they are easy pickings for our artillery. Boom. Now, because they are in that square formation, it makes it a lot harder for our cavalry to do any damage, but that doesn't mean I'm going to take advantage of that, or I'm not going to take advantage of that and open fire. So I will open fire with my uh, infantry here, the 57th line. Took one out. And we will charge into uh, Gnyakskoro. A lot of Russian areas here, Russian towns, cities, etc. This is the nice part of Russia. Just wait. Give it a few turns. <laughs> um, we could attack. There's no negative aspect here, even though we're not going to do a lot of damage. Even a little bit of damage makes a difference. But it looks like they withstood that attack without taking any. So, well done. Well, down here in the south is definitely troubling. For the Emperor says better juice. <laughs> Hi, Triumph Zug. No worries, man. It's uh, my pleasure. Make sure, uh, guys, uh, we've got 15 viewers, and I thank you guys. Um, also, uh, share the share this particular Twitch stream if you can. It really does help. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the Civil War picture down below for a direct link there. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff there. I'll actually eventually be uploading this video there as well. So I think we've done everything we can for this turn. Just hoping that these guys will uh, regain their morale. And I will actually send Napoleon over here to try and rally them in. You can fight, boys. Okay, end the turn. I see a lot of pulling back by the enemy. Could this be a sign that they realize they cannot take um, any of these areas and that they have to defend that last area so that we don't get the victory? Quite possibly. Oh, okay, so I'll just call you Napoleon from now on. <laughs> Sounds good. still attacking this unit just because this is the one with the greatest chance of actually causing some serious destruction like that look at this square formation four of six they're gonna run that's what we want and now we're gonna move near um maslova we'll take some hits but i think we can run these guys down and kill them good work chasseurs vive la france now of course maslova is open for a lot more action um, so I'm actually going to start moving the 12th line over there. Obviously, the 57th line has been hard at work here, but they haven't been able to make much of a change, and I, I don't blame them. It's a tough area. Uh, actually, I'm going to move them back to Borodino eventually. No reason for them to get shot up. And actually, while the 48th line is in Borodino, they'll probably pick up another unit, so that's great. I'm going to move these guys north as well. And these guys will go into Seminskoye, liberating the town. Beautiful. From the evil forces of the Tsar, they'll also gain some uh, recruits there. In this case, uh, Russian recruits. I don't want that cavalry unit near us, to be honest with you. 
I'm that dead set on destroying it. But I'll actually move our men here. Just to take the town. Just to have it in our possession for a bit. And the Emperor will not go into an area, obviously, that's burning. So, smart choice by the Emperor. No wonder he lasts so long. Uh, so, I'm actually going to try to move him over here. To these men, sort of guarding this uh, this Earthworks uh, emplacement. Take care, Ari. Ah, uh, yes. Bon Value is talking about the, the Portuguese caçadores, uh, which in Portugal just, just is a term for hunter. But uh, in that time period, a caçador was basically like a sniper, a sharpshooter. Uh, and they were pretty damn good at what they did. So I'm going to charge into this unit just because I know we can break them this turn. Or maybe it's better to charge into the infantry. I think considering the fact that we are trying to take a city, taking out the infantry might be the right thing to gain. I'm not going to move forward because we will be right in direct range of uh, that cannon. So for now, we're going to keep our distance. Total miss. Ending the turn, boys. I shall return. Okay, Okay. I actually arrived just in time. Nice. I'll jump here into the chat, take a look. Ah, I didn't know that. So Scooby saying Fusiliers were originally um, units that protected army, which uh, artillery, excuse me, which is interesting to me because, um, at least in the Portuguese army, uh, Fusileiros, the Fusiliers, are basically our frontline riflemen. So the equivalent to, uh, like, U.S. Army, um, just soldiers on the frontline grunts. Uh, we call them Fusileiros. Uh, which does mean sharpshooters, so... Interesting. Uh, Marine? I would think Marinheiro, which would be the Portuguese Marinheiro sailor. Uh, Marinheiro is uh, Portuguese for sailor, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if the word Marine came from that. Don't forget that German... Uh, German... Portuguese history is full of um, sailors, uh, explorers, things like that. Really great fishermen. Unfortunately, now all our bacalhau comes from the Norwegian coast. Thank you, Norway. I don't know if Terhe is here, but thank you, Terhe. We appreciate that delicious fish. It used to come off the coast of Portugal, but no longer. Streamception. Hey, LC, how you doing, bud? Ah, uh, Jaeger means hunter. Thank you, Anacephaly. 17 viewers, welcome, everybody. We have been playing the Battle of Borodino for a while now. Um, we are getting close to the end, but we have taken most of the cities we technically need to take. Of course, this is a process that takes a while. So we are continuing the battle. And I want to try and wipe out especially these fresh units. Not too concerned with Knyatskoro, because this is not a city we need to take for victory. I'm more concerned with the units over here. So let's open fire. We're going to take some pretty nasty shots from them, too. They're going to turn around, face us, and give us a nasty volley. But what I will do is, since they are not in square formation... Oh! Ouch. We might be able to damage them quite a bit. Actually, we'd end up damaging the unit in square formation more. So that's what we'll do. So I, I rarely would do this, which is move a unit into a burning city. We're only doing it because it's going to get more guys near uh, Maslovo. And that's currently the place we really need to take. 
we'll also move our Artie up. And unless we can get a good shot here, I think I might send these guys back to Borodino to uh, restock their forces, essentially. Get some replacements, all that fun stuff. Send this guy into Valievo for him to get replacements. And I don't mind losing Shen Shkoye. Probably want to take it back, though. Okay, we can actually fire on 7-inch going. I'm hoping we set it on fire. If we do, it makes our job a lot easier. If not, these guys are in a little bit of trouble. It's true uh, that assaulting a square is often bad, but in some situations, it, it works actually better. In odd situations, it'll work even better um, than, uh, than not assaulting, essentially. I know it's counterintuitive, but it does work. Let's fire here. Nice. Nice loss to the men near Utica. But this is really where our main concern is, is the rest of our forces. So let's hope that they get the reinforcements they need to continue fighting, and we will end the turn. Interesting, I didn't know that before, but apparently cavalry can move through other cavalry. And yeah, they destroyed our unit there. See, since we were in the woods, I thought we would get a bonus there on defense, but I guess not. And they have set a fire in Utica, which is an area we have to hold. That's not good. It's going to burn our men down little by little. We just have to take one more city to get an instant victory. And right now, the uh, victory points for once in this game are actually in favor of the enemy. So this is not good. So we need Matsuo. I'm only going for this shot because I think we could break the uh, the unit. Yes! And hopefully a nice shot here. And again, since we're in a swamp, we're, we're not getting the best shots we could with this particular kind of unit. Uh, but in the meantime, I really want to fire over there. But you know what? Since we have the opportunity... I will hit the Jaegers. Not if I can first attack them with cavalry and still do a lot of damage, though. We can actually get them into an even better position for a shot if they get into square formation. But it doesn't look like they uh, took the bait. For oh, yeah. It's a nasty hit, but not enough to dislodge these guys. And, of course, we are moving to towards Muscleville. I didn't realize these guys were that badly damaged. I should have looked. Uh, we can't open fire, but it's going to result in these guys running. So, I think at this point, best thing to do is bring up the reinforcements as quickly as possible. We'll get this guy to Muscleville in time. But things certainly aren't as rosy as when we started the battle. We started off... At a great advantage. Now, not so much. Yeah, I think we'll end the turn. I was winning initially from value, but now it's uh, things are very much up in the air. 
cavalry's actually cutting through a lot of our supply as well. Okay, here we go. Now they've made a mistake. They've moved out of Masovo. And even if we can't get into Masovo this turn, we can potentially send our Cav to do some serious damage. Uh, even though we might not be able to get into Masovo this turn, I'm still going to try. So I'm moving towards it. And we actually get a pretty good shot here at the enemy infantry from uh, up here on the hill. We could potentially break them. Or, yeah, I think this works out even better. Now, unfortunately, we can't shoot at the enemy this turn. But they're certainly trying to get to Novoya. Get rid of this cav. I think we can do it with just our infantry. They got one of our one of our infantry units to retreat, which is really frustrating. I'm going to move the artillery into Novoya, just so they can't take it. Uh, but the situation we find ourselves in here is frustrating because we have no units that can fire on this guy, as far as I can see. Um, let's shoot. We could get into Utica, which is probably not a bad idea. But I'm actually going to shoot at Semimin Skoya, hoping that we score a fire. And if we hit a, an ammo dump, a fire will begin here. Yes! We got the fire breaking out. Wonderful. Exactly what we want. Yeah, Maslovo is open, says uh, Anna. Absolutely. And that's always good. Uh, we'll move into Utica. We have no choice. We must defend Utica, even if it's burning. And all of these units are at full strength. So they, they will eventually try to take this city. Ouch. Okay, here we go, my friends. Oh, no. This is not good. Here in the swamp, of course, we're going to take increased damage. is going to be back in enemy hands, guys, for sure. Unless we can storm down from the north, things do not bode well for the men here. Even Napoleon had to run away. So since, this is interesting. So maybe since we already captured Utica, we don't need to recapture it because it's still saying we captured it. Interesting. Let's find out. Um, we will, of course, go to Maslovo. Total victory! <laughs> I think a little bit of uh, just a game glitch. Maybe not so much a game glitch. Maybe during the time period, even if you took a certain region um, but lost it, the fact that you took it was prestigious enough to sort of show that your men were capable of that I'm just trying to justify my fair win what am i saying <laughs> what am i saying uh so we'll play one of these since uh, waterloo is the second choice for battles here we'll play the voiceover work for waterloo uh, i think the voiceover guy in this did really really well so i'll let you guys listen to that oh we have to get lutzen no 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 that's not it sorry australis would be another fun one that's what i get all right Chapter 14, Battle of Waterloo, 18th of June, 1815. Napoleon abdicated after Rovio. He was sent into exile on the island of Elba. Yet, 100 days later, he stands here again, ready to lead us into battle at Waterloo. What brilliance! Today, we will win a victory worthy of him. This day will be the pinnacle of his reign. I have been promoted to captain. Napoleon has rewarded those of us who have remained by his side for our loyalty. We stand on the outskirts of Brussels, 
ready to face the British and the Prussians. This is our last stand. The men sing in our camp once more. Not too long ago, I stood with strangers. Now, they feel as brothers to me once more. We stand together for Napoleon and for glory. Telling you that voice actor, like as a VO actor myself, I'm jealous. He's awesome. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to try to do schedules um, even earlier. Uh, I hope you guys do enjoy, though, the addition of set schedules. Certainly seems like it because we've got a lot of viewers here, and that makes me very happy. Uh, so I will keep doing schedules in the future. Another thing I'm going to do is on the community settings tab, uh, I've been asking you guys some questions that you get to vote on on polls, which I really enjoy. It allows me to sort of work with you guys. So I'm going to start putting some game ideas up, and you guys can vote on those. And depending on those votes, that's how I'm going to structure the weekly streams. So... I'm giving you guys total control of this channel. I want you to understand that. I love you enough and I trust you enough um, to give you total control here, especially with this whole YouTube mess. Um, so like I said before, make sure to sub here. Uh, make sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel down below by hitting the little Civil War icon. And while we're at it, as much as I hate to use this, considering the fact that YouTube really has not been very forthcoming with spreading the channel and things like that, um, I will ask you guys to add my Twitter link here as well if you guys have twitter i don't use it much but when i do i do try and put up relevant stuff you know i don't just put up garbage so i'm gonna put my twitter link here as well for anybody interested and uh thank you so much guys i really appreciate it take care and i'll see you on the next one vive l'empereur and vive la france